We're back Blink. with Ashley's new look. Here you can see she's got fabulous bob here with lots of great, great highlights. And you can see where I took in her neckline with that one cut very close. I went back in with the razor and cleaned that up. What I've done so far is I've dried her, I've flat ironed her. And now I'm going to do a little more tweaking. You can see her asymmetric side is this side here just falls slightly longer. But what I do want to do is a little bit more cutting just through, hold your strip like this from Ashley. Let's do a little bit more right through these sides just so this isn't quite so blunt. I want a little more movement on these ends. And you can see when I had done that with the razor and that front and the bang. So this is what really makes a difference once you've dried it, smoothed it, really check out the haircut, see what else it needs. I think when you smooth that hair out, you can see any little flaw. When you have wrinkles going through it and crimps and creases, you can't really see that shape well. And all I'm doing is point cutting these edges just so these edges aren't quite so blunt. We want a little more movement. I'm using my big shears here and just point cutting into those edges. That top layer of the end, you can already see what that's done on this one side. It's created a little more movement on the ends, not quite so blunt. Uh, we want to keep length on her layers. We don't want short ones. I'm going right around, even through this crown here, pulling this down low, taking a little bit more out. What I had done to be in the beginning is taken the ponytail off, took the graduation in here low with my razor. Now I'm just tweaking this haircut. We want a little more movement on the ends, and this is what this does. It just creates that little bevel on the edges so it's not quite so blunt. After I did her coloring, you can see the highlights really pop out now and they really play up the haircut. Point cutting this, really, you can see where exactly it needs it when you dry this hair smooth. And that's really how you really make this haircut fit to the person. Uh, we do this all the time on cutting this hair, knowing where to pick it up, knowing where to texturize. Um, I think the nice thing about Ashley's is she'll be able to wear this curly. If she let this air dry, it'll have a little tousle beach waves in it. Uh, drying it smooth really shows off this cut. And the color really, really plays up the haircut. Just tweaking here, going in and point cutting these edges. I like to do this on the hair dry because you can see where it needs it. Once you cut that shape in there, then dry it, you can just see so much better what you know what it needs so we're to the point now where we're finished Ashley is looking great having this haircut was a big change on her but what a wonderful nice sleek look this is going to be for her this hair will be great like I said if she lets this dry naturally if she lets this go smooth, she can put a little curl in. I keep having this deep, uh, this deep side part in here. Really gives it a little bit more of an asymmetric feel. And so far, all I've done, I've not even put any product in here. I am going to put a little bit of Max Wax in here. And the Max Wax is, uh, Max Wax is a pomade that really makes it piecey and gives it definition. It messes that hair up when you can't use anything else. This is what really works well. I blotted it on my hands, put a film of it on there, then I'm going to blot it on these ends, and you can see the texture come out. It really makes this haircut even more PC, and PC is good. When this hair can move, it shows volume and it shows the shape off, even giving this a little asymmetric, a little jagged part is even better, mixes it up some. Ashley's had a great makeover today. Thanks for watching.